I ordered out of the annual. I got this label punch. Um, I have a project that I want to do with this. And I can make, you know, my own labels if I want to. I got the scissors, which I tried to do this in my first, very first order. And it kept telling me that it was, um, no longer available. And I was like, then why is it in the catalog? They said it was discontinued. And I was like, why is it in the catalog? Well, so then I tried it again with this order. And, um, I guess I just put the numbers in wrong. But, I got these. These are the Stampin' Spritzers. Yep, Stampin' Spritzer. You get two in a pack. And they are massive. I did not know they were this big. They are big. Look at this. See? I'm going to show you how to, with these, I'm going to show you how to make, um, get your own ink dyes. Um, but these are really big. Like, I have this little spritzer bottle here, and... Look at the difference. So I really, I really like that. So stay tuned for that project. I'm gonna show you how to do that with the uh, reinkers. Alrighty, and then I got the three by six gusseted cellophane bags. And you get a quant, you get a, <laughs> you get 25 in a pack. So again, I'm gonna be showing you a project with these. Let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. And they're nice and thick. They're not real flimsy. So, great quality. Great quality. I got the glassine bags. You get 10 in a pack. And again, I have a project with this that I want to do. Okay. So, then with Stampin' Up, if you're um, going to resell things that you make with Stampin' Up, you have to have, you have to give Stampin' Up the credit. You have to have the logo stamped on there. So I got this, I stamped this. This is not in the annual catalog. It is on the website, I do believe. Um, in the catalog, they do, in the annual catalog, they do have another one. It's called um, Snail Mail. But, um, and it's basically kind of the same thing, just different stamps. But you have the Stampin' Up stamps here. And then it says, made with love for you, made by me for you, just for you. I stamped this, baked with love. So if you bake, you know, some treats, created by, and then you can put your signature from my kitchen, from my heart, just for you. One of a kind, totally cool card, hand stamped by, and you can sign it. And then just for you again, which... Yep, oh, yep, maybe. That may work with that too. To punch out that little banner. I must have slid a little weird in here. Oh! And then handcrafted by as well. So, you know, you put handcrafted by, sign your name, and then put this little stamp underneath it. And these do, these are the clear. So, um, I'll show you how to assemble those in another video. Um, you do have to. <laughs> assemble these but they're they call them the clear because they just fix the clear they clean they're basically the clear clean um and then you have the photopolymer they're actually clear so with my hostess rewards for putting in 150 dollars i got this stamp set this is one of the stamp sets you can only get this if you um are a hostess and your order reaches 150 dollars or not your order but your like your party sales equals at least $150, you get hostess rewards. And you can order stamp sets like this. It's just for the hostess. And it says, you're always there for me. Love you lots. Thank you, friends. You. And then so you get little porcupines, ladybugs, froggies, or froggies, a froggy, elephant with a little mouse. And these are so cute. Oh, they're so cute. And again, I got to assemble those too. And then I did order the Stampin' Pearson mats, um, because with photopolymer, it's straight on the block. So you have no squishiness there. See, like with these here and wood mount, you get, you have this little 
foam which gives you a cushion so it gives you a really good impression so um but with photopolymer like i said it's straight on the box um so this gives you that cushion for when you um using photopolymer and you can also use the um piercing tool to poke holes to do um stitching on your cards and then i got the silicone craft sheet which this is good to put like a glue dot down build up maybe a flower or something and be able to take it off and stick it on your card so and then i just got me um a refill of the snail adhesive and i got me two more blocks i'm building up my blocks so i got the a and the g and so you can see because when i'm looking at when i looked at them in the catalog i was like god i don't really know how big that's going to be so this is showing you just how what they look like so there's a g block so these are good for your little phrases that you have and i have several stamp sets that have little phrases or sentiments and then i just got the a for a block for my little things um and then I got these. I will go into detail more with these once I figure out exactly how I'm going to use them. I'm actually going to use these for, but I'm going to start ordering some of these and start using these for different things. My previous wood mount blocks that I had that's not stamping up, um, I have them in old VHS cases. They're almost like this, but they still have the VHS, you know, holes. So I can't put that much in there. So that's one good thing these are good for. And also storing like your enamel shapes in or your, um, which after sand the half these are the full after seeing the half I think the half would be good for the enamel shape these are good to put your embellishments in um like your sequins that you get or your buttons or your uh, paper clips and all that these would be good to store these in so you have all that you know, together so I hope this you enjoyed this and I hope it wasn't too extremely long um I'm really really excited to share all of this with you and again, if you would like one of these catalogs, let me know. Um, when you do place an order, make sure that you have me as your demonstrator. I have my paper pumpkin club that's going to be starting, and I have an online club that I'm going to be starting very soon. So, you really want to get involved in this. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below, and I'll answer you as soon as I can. Bye!